So, not really too surprisingly, our 24-hour hero this week is Gerald McCoy. Um, I don't think we've had a defensive tackle as the player that goes up for 24 hours yet. And the card really isn't too expensive right now. You guys see, uh, well, this is a bad example. I picked, I chose to look at this card because I knew nobody was going to buy it. I think like the cheapest one up is probably probably around 150k. And I can bet that that's going to drop like during the day as like the day goes on. Because this video, it's uh, it's 115 central right now. So give it a little longer, more people are going to have them. And it's a really good card. Like I've always wanted a defensive tackle that can rush the passer. So we're going to go over, look at his speed, 73, his excel is 92. Like that's faster than some running back. So he's going to close on the quarterback very, very fast. A 92 tackle. The only thing I really didn't like about this card was his awareness was like a 78, I think. I think I passed it up. An 84 jump for those of you that like to bat balls down at the line. I wish that was more of a thing, but they did improve it a little bit this year. As you guys... uh. C96 hit power, 77 finesse move, and a 93 block shed. You're going to be hard pressed to find a better defensive tackle. I know that uh, there, there's probably more out, but it's just it's just not going to get much better than what you see right in front of you for quite a while, I would assume. Uh, a 90 hit power. So he's going to be hurting people once they get to the D line. Now, what, what would a video be if I didn't try to open up some pro packs for the Gerald McCoy? I'm feeling it today. I, I'm feeling like today is a good day. You see, I get a Corey Fuller. He might actually start this week, I think, because Calvin Johnson is hurt. A Leonard Hankerson. Here we go. A Corey Gr I can't. Why do I do that? When I see the gold, I can't get excited. No matter what. I don't think there's a gold card in the game I would like. And... I guess that's making me eat my words because I definitely wasn't going to get excited for that. A Seneca Wallace. I actually thought that guy was pretty good, man. He, I, I guess he's not because I don't think he's on a team right now. He might be. Alvin Bailey and a Johnny Troutman. Okay. So my luck from the beginning of Mutt is starting to fade a little as I get a Quentin Copels. Maybe the game changer pack I open at the very end will make me feel better. Philip Gaines, Edwin Baker, here we go. And I, I was going for a kicker. <laughs> I was like, like the pack was so bad, I thought maybe they would give me a kicker or a punter. I think punters don't count as goals either. A Charles Godfrey, show me a collection. Oh, come on, man. You, you don't even go in a collection? How do you not go into a collection? TJ Graham. I still thought... I, I thought TJ Graham was really good, man, but I don't know. So, here we go. A little a little saddened, heading into the game changer pack. A little depressed. Not really depressed. That's that's a bad word to use. I, I was about to say I feel weak, but that's also bad. Like, that would make me weak. You know what? I'm going in positive. I'm going in positive. Here we go. James Jones. This guy's having a mediocre season for the, the Raiders right now. I like Derek Carr at quarterback, though. Eagles home. Bank of America Stadium. We're getting warmer. We're, we're getting a lot of the fat out right now so we could get to the meat. Because this is what this is. This is... Oh. <laughs> Yo, I'm, I'm a childish, man. I'm childish. I'm childish. I'm sorry. Lane Johnson. Does he... Does he go in the collection? Oh, gold? I'm never going to. You know what? I guess I might as well put him in the collection, right? Because I I, I don't know. I, I hardly ever mess with my reserves. A Brandon Spikes. And, you know, maybe I'll get something. I think gold sets, they give you the badge packs, right? Mike McCoy. I thought that was an elite. Are you kidding me? Come on, game changers. We're better than this. Earl Wolf. You definitely see some interesting names. I actually saw a video on Jacoby Jones earlier today, man. He, he's from New Orleans. I thought he should have been the Super Bowl MVP that year that the Ravens had won it. All right, so Eric Reed and Prince of Mukamara. We have two cards left, I think. I don't have my glasses on, but oh, 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 there it is. 
There's some fire. It's not really fire. It's like a moderate flame. Oh, and a team of the week. Left outside linebacker. So, at least we got Clowny, right? I guess it could have been worse. Somehow, I'm sure there's a way it could have been worse. But it, it surely could have been a lot better. I, mm, I might do another pack opening later today because I was definitely not feeling this one, man. But, uh. I did do a video on the clowny. If you guys want to hear my thoughts on that, it is on my channel. Anyways, guys, I'm D Coop, and I'm out.